Hello. Uh, this class will cover uh, reverse engineering of C++ binaries. Uh, the video will discuss uh, the topics of the class and also a little bit about the motivation behind the class and what you would expect to see during this class. So regarding the topics uh, of this class, we will discuss objects, uh, both how to uh, understand uh, that what you are looking at is actually a constructor, how to uh, understand from the constructor about the different objects, and also how to define the objects that you found in IDA and how to uh, handle all of those things. So this is the first topic that we will cover during this class. We will also cover uh, inheritance, both like a regular basic inheritance, but also multiple inheritance. So both of those topics will be discussed during this class. And also we will discuss how to, of course, um, define all of those things in IDA and what is the best way to do uh, those things when you are doing reverse engineering. And the last topic would be a basic templates. So um, because uh, this is also something that you would see a lot in binaries, uh, it is important to understand how to handle templates, how to understand what of the functions that you are looking at is actually a template, uh, and so on. So I would add uh, that because we have limited time, we can't have all the topics that are relevant for reverse engineering of C++ binaries, but we do have here the most fundamental parts and um, that I think would be very helpful and relevant for you when you're doing reverse engineering. I would add that if you feel that the topic of um, uh, x86 um, assembly is not something that you are familiar enough with or if you feel you want to do a little more um, practice in this topic so there are great courses and classes you can take in OST2 and this class will uh, assume that the basic uh, knowledge that you have is that you do have know how to do reversing uh, of binaries of the basic binaries and that you do understand how to read the x64 um, architecture. So this is something that is important to uh, note before we start. Another thing that I wanted to add is that also advanced topics like unique pointers, shared pointers, uh, very complex uh, templates will also not be part of the course because we have um, some limitations with time. Um, but of course, in the end, I will give and some links and stuff that you can continue and practice uh, the reverse engineering of C++ binaries. I will add that uh, during this class we are using a G++ compiler. Um, in other compilers some of the things look a little bit different, but because you uh, will learn everything uh, about the concepts in this class and I will also try to show you a lot about how to use IDA and how to define things, so a lot of the things will be uh, similar, but some things will be different and it could be adjusted. Of course, after you understand the concept, you will see that the differences are not so uh, big and you could adjust what you learned to other compilers too. Um, and the last thing uh, about like the general uh, logistics um, is that there are both hands-on exercises and uh, videos and I would suggest to uh, do all the exercises if you want to learn from the class and to have the best understanding of reversing C++. And so practice is the main part of this uh, journey that you take. So my recommendation is to follow um, the uh, class outline, uh, both the videos and the hands-on uh, exercises. Okay, so uh, let's continue. So the last thing that I would like to discuss is reverse engineering of C++ in general. Like why, why would you even want to take this class? Like why is it different? So there are some differences between reverse engineering C++ binaries and C binaries. And C++, like you know, is an object-oriented language and there are a lot of complex data structures that are used in C++. For example, inheritance, which is something that we will discuss a lot during this class, 
is a very big topic that is uh, unique to um, how you would like to reverse the C++ binaries that you have and to understand how to um, do all of those things, to understand how to do it in the best way, in the most like easy way to do it. So this is why it's also important to uh, understand the differences. Uh, another thing is that in C++ there are also a lot of other uh, complex and uh, structures. If you talk about templates, which is also something that is unique to uh, what you would see in uh, binaries written in C++, and uh, also we have shell pointers and unique pointers and other things uh, that make C++ uh, difficult to reverse. Um, of course, uh, we would also cover virtual calls during this class. This is a very big topic because um, if you want to like uh, look at the flow of the code. So uh, you have many cases when the uh, calls that you have are not uh, direct calls, uh, but it will be indirect calls. And this is a very big topic that makes C++ harder to reverse. All of those things um, are, will, will be a part of the training and you will be able to um, learn and understand how to deal with those things. Uh, another thing that is different in C++ is that there are uh, new standards every uh, some years and there are changes to the uh, language every, every few years. So also because the language is different, the binaries will look different and you will have to adjust and learn all the time to uh, understand the progress of the language and the uh, changes it makes on the binary. Um, but this class will cover the basics that will be shared with all the current standards. Um, another thing is that if you are in the field of uh, vulnerability research, so vulnerabilities in C++ binaries are sometimes uh, harder to find because there are a lot of things in the language that prevent the developer to make the um, mistakes that you would assume to see in C code. Uh, of course, the vulnerabilities in um, everything, but in the end, and uh, there are small differences when you do um, vulnerability research for C++ binaries and C binaries. And uh, the last thing, but the most important thing, is that um, C++ reversing requires a lot of mapping. And this is something that you would be uh, seeing during this class in order to uh, reverse engineers, re engineer a C++ uh, binary, you would have to define a lot of things and to understand a lot of the objects and the relationships in order to uh, be better in reversing those binaries. So just keep it in mind. Uh, you would, of course, see it a lot during this class. Um, but this is something that I think um, you would uh, need to keep in mind in order to do a better job in reversing C++ binaries. So uh, I would like to thank you very much for taking the time and doing my course. I hope that you will both enjoy it and learn from me. And thank you very much. <laughs>